Welcome back to Expedition Hemispheres. This is Kevin. Today we're going to be talking about all the small nuances we use on the trail to cook our meals. So there's a lot of different methods out there and a lot of different kind of food you can eat. Dinner is the most important meal to us. It's our only hot meal. Most of the time it's our only hot meal. And we want to make sure that everything's perfect with it. It's really fulfilling, a good experience, and kind of keeps our spirits high while we're out there. So today we're going to show you everything we know about that. Today I want to talk to you about my favorite meal I've ever had on trail. Beef stroganoff, mountain house. 27 grams of protein, 600 calories. Really good energy source, super tasty. Um, you can season it any way you want. Add Cholula, add salt and pepper, Cajun seasoning, anything like that. I personally like the way it is by itself. It does just fine. We have a preferred method of cooking on trail that we've kind of come up with. Definitely didn't make it up myself, but I did learn about it and I love it. So as you can see, the packaging on the Mountain House is kind of like a, almost like a foil bag. It's really thick. These are made like this so that when you rehydrate the meal inside the pouch, it holds the boiling water or the hot water really well. They're durable, so you're not gonna get a puncture. Um, they're practical. That said, when you're done with the meal, you've got kind of a big heavy bag. It does have like a, a Ziploc top, but it's one of those ones that's a little bit iffy. So it's like hiking these out can be kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, they're heavy, they're big. So what we've gone to is using a, what's called like the freezer bag method. So if you have a Ziploc bag that is rated for the freezer, it's gonna be able to withstand the temperatures that you're gonna put in without dissolving any of the plastic or anything like that. So you're not gonna end up inadvertently eating plastic. They'll totally take um, the hot liquid. You wanna keep it just below 200 degrees so you don't need a full boil and you're good to go. Advantages of this is not only during cooking, but post cooking, the zip is excellent. It's gonna stay closed, you know when it's closed. I really prefer the ones that have the tiny bit of added weight in the built-in zipper because it's just more secure. I don't have gooey stuff ending up in my food kit when, once I'm done with a meal and it also secures it for cooking really nicely. So it packs down a lot smaller too. When you fold this up compared to when you fold one of these up, it gets really, really small. And that's nice, you just, I, I normally take the first one I use and subsequent ones I use just go right inside of the first one. So the way this works is the bag is gonna go inside of this reusable, it's like a koozie for your meal. So you take the bag, place it inside, rehydrate your meal, close the bag, and it's going to keep it warm enough and it'll sit upright too because it's got a nice little flat bottom to keep the meal warm enough to rehydrate. So as you wait that, five, 10 minutes, whatever you prefer. If you're in a hurry, you can always eat them a little, get, have the little couple crunchy noodles, but you let it sit in here and the meal cooks. When you're done, you just fold back the top, unzip your baggie, eat straight out of the bag. It also keeps your hand from getting too hot holding the meal. So it's like a koozie for your meal. It's like magic. I really, really love this system. Highly efficient, very light, and it packs down very small. So we've got our kettle. This particular meal calls for 14 ounces of water. So I have this set up on the side, pre-prepared. So I'll go ahead and get my water in my pot. All right, we'll set this over to the side, get the top on. Make sure I've got it nice and stable on there. Good to go, crank it up. Okay, now we're just gonna wait for this to get to temp. All right, let's check and see if we're there. Should be plenty hot enough. Pull this off. Oh yeah, perfect. We're good to go. So normally I have already packed the meal that I'm opening right now into the freezer bag that I take with me. Those handles get really hot really fast. They also cool off really fast, so something to keep in mind. Normally, I just either have my glove or uh, some sort of padding when I pick up these titanium pots because they do get hot. All right, so let's nestle this inside the koozie I was telling you about. This particular koozie is actually made by um, Hyperlite, really nice ultralight brand. They've got a lot of great gear, and it's made specifically for cooking in this method. From here, we're just gonna do Pour the water in, let it rehydrate and sit.
Okay, so once I got the water in, I like to seal up, fold over, and give it a couple sloshes. That way there's no dry spots clumping in there. It only takes a few. This stuff mixes up really easy. Right in there. Now we wait. All right, everything should be cooked in here, so we're going to open it up, take a look. I normally would not take this out, but I'm going to kind of rise it up so you can get a peek. You can see everything's nice and rehydrated. You got your meal. So from here, like I said, it stays in the bag. I like to just fold this back. Get your buckle, if I can get it, yep, underneath, and then kind of just holds that flap out of your way. It's not folding over where you're trying to eat. So open up. Now, extra important. You want a lightweight titanium spoon. This particular one, Sea to Summit, I love it. It's got a little carabiner on the end. This thing weighs nothing. Everything on here is titanium. It's tiny. Okay, highly recommended not to get a spork. Everybody's like utilitarian in their thought process when they're getting uh, gear for backpacking and all that. Uh, so they're like, I want a spork because I want a spoon and a fork together. Not a good idea. We'll rip your bag up. You don't want that. So spoon only. No need to give it a stir, but I like to move around and see if I want to have it sit for longer. This one looks good to go. So on the trail, meal is piping hot. My hands on here, no problems. Um, perfectly comfortable to hold. And you can kind of just get in here and get after it. All right, guys, like I was telling you at the beginning of the video, Mountain House beef stroganoff for the win. You really can't get any more delicious than this on the trail. Take a look at this. Wonderful. As a reminder, we just want to be as transparent as possible. We don't know everything about anything. This is what we've learned over the years and what we've implemented, what we really like. That said, a lot of you guys have a lot more experience than us. You also have a lot of things that you uh, use on your trips that you prefer. Put it in the comments down below. Let's get the community involved here. We like to see your ideas, your thoughts, your comments. We do our best to read those and reply. So we'd love to hear from you. As always, keep adventuring.